Hello, welcome back. We've got our full squad out here. Uh, I checked actually, and I'm just one green life force short of being able to craft the helmet. Uh, the new helmet sooner than. Uh, shut up now. They love jungle areas, uh, especially those with lots of rotting vegetation and exotic stenches. Go deeper into Prince the, the land of stench, eh? and see if you can That's going to be the episode title. But yeah, um, unfortunately, we can't uh, we can't make the helmet before we're supposed to because we don't have enough green life force. Which is funny that you can, it's like carrying over the one, you know, you get the life force before you meet the hive, so theoretically you can craft without needing that minion type. And because green life force is dropped by spiders, generally, I mean, you know, it's like a brown life force dropped by wolves, it's not guaranteed, it's weird. It's a forge stone, sire. Giblet is very keen to see what that unlocks. Well, we'll look at that later. I don't think that unlocks the last tier of stuff yet, it just unlocks some... I know it unlocks a new mace, which is pretty cool. Because this one's getting a little bit old, you know, it's getting a bit out level. Bye bye fellas. Jungle exploration on our own. Should have brought a pith helmet. And a good old rifle. By oh, my scales, what kind of teddy-shaped monster is this? I've never seen anything like it, even in the lands around the old tower. No, oh, it's it's just so fluffy. It's repulsive. My eyes. My <laughs> eyes. I love Mark Silk. What wonderful fur that beast has. I bet it would look much better on me though. I'm not gonna try and fight this fucker. I'm gonna leave it. He's passive. He's in danger too. But yeah, if, if you thought that Peter would be pissed off for like the seal clubbing thing, then yeah, there's that. I mean, the seal clubbing got them hate now. Best to leave that monster to its munching, sire. It has a taste for that tall grass. Thankfully, they don't follow us outside these barriers. There we go. I've almost missed their smell. Uh, look there, sire. At least they don't seem foolish enough to try attacking you. Must be a fan. Oh, there she is. Yeah, attacking me would be a very poor decision. I mean, they probably recognise, oh, hey, big spiky bloke. Probably the Overlord. Can't go through there. I like this music. It's a very explorer worthy. Yeah, these pandas aren't much fun like that. And that's how you do that. Sword would probably be more appropriate. Perhaps the queens can subdue the beast with their stealth attack. And there they appear. <laughs> Guy, here. Greens, a little help. That's a poor in introduction to the greens, isn't it? Makes them look terrible. Retreat! having too good of a time trying to attack it. I have a lot of dead noob on the teams. Yep, 
yeah, unfortunately, uh, they seem to not be very good at this. You know, it's not as impressive as in Overlord 1 when they take down that troll. They aren't as overpowered as previously, to be honest, but they are still good. Yeah, you can wear the panda's head, but the minions can. So yeah, that sucked. Look at their little fucking liver spotted heads. They look like liver spots, they're more, probably more meant to be like leopard print or something, but I don't care. And I've still got the quest mark for the other thing. I got the other quest marked. There you go. Because there are a few more of them around here in this jungle zone. Yeah, poor introduction to brains. I guess. Taking position. And obviously, they're not so good against smaller targets. Pandas are dangerous, don't fuck with them. Reds, browns, green. That one. No. You choose all. But yeah, we get a lot of them for free. Uh, we're gonna be sacrificing some soon enough. I don't think the ones that die in this mission appear in the graveyard either. Uh, did we go and did we miss anything? I don't think so, I don't know. Another goddess will prevail. Creeps! Taking position! Yeah, greens struggle with smaller targets, they're not as bloody useless as in the other game though. The Mellor Goddess will prevail! Remove yourselves from this sacred place! Goddess. 
to worship dreams. You choose all to suck my secret flesh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, then get the priestess hat as this minion has. But yeah, good lord. Checkpoint, I think. I think we've hit a checkpoint, but we're pretty much safe. But yeah, you get more greens here if you lost any in that fight. Dark crystal back here. Easy one to miss. I don't know if these greens will be returning because this isn't actually the bit where we get their hide. So I'm sorry to disappoint. So now we've got the browns and the reds, the greens will make a nice little addition to our army. They give us a bit of more varied tactics. This is the point where actual battle tactics start to really come into the game. Other than just, you know, reds at the back, lob browns at it till it dies. So there you go, we found our missing minion crew. I think these guys, some of these greens will return when we do the green hide run, I'm not sure but it's not coming up just yet. Anyway, I'm gonna go off the forge to the helmet and take a look at the new rescues we've got. Greens! You choose all! Here's a spell stone, how handy. So we've got that one, which I never use, but it's kind of cool, it empowers a minion. You know, one superpowered minion is pretty cool. But, uh, this is better. Ah, you found the Halo spell, sire. You can use that to buff your minions, or turn yourself into a teeny bomb of magical energy. That's one side of it, which is pretty brutal. Oh, we ran out of mana. We will start getting a lot more mana later on though. They okay, combine those two, and you got a power blast spell. There's the next area. Yeah, we can't take these greens home just yet, so they're gonna have to stay out here in the jungle whilst we return to our Neverworld Tower. Um, we're just gonna quickly go and forge ourselves a new helmet for the life force we've got.
<laughs> so this episode's been slightly longer than I'd like, but oh well. We're going to be forging the, I think it's called the Evil Eye. And basically, what this helmet does, uh, it doesn't actually really improve our resistances, I don't think. It doesn't, it, it kind of functions like the Harvesting Helm from Raising Hell, if you've ever played that. Um, it doubles any life force we pick up, just flat doubles it, which is really useful at this point in the game, because we're going to need it. Especially because we've now got three types of minions to keep track of, so... Evil Eye. We can just barely make that. And what else can we make? The Warlock. And the Beastmaster. But yeah, we don't really have enough reds for that quiet, but I'm gonna forge it anyway. Because it's an investment, you know. We'll be getting a lot of life force as well in a segment coming up. I used to never forge, I used to go through the whole game by upgrading my shit out of these minions, so. Yeah. As you'll see, that's put us down to relatively low minions. But only 39 reds. We can now no longer fill out an entire horde with reds, which is worrisome, but don't worry, we'll get back to that soon enough. And we need to get some money, but I'll do that later. And I'll see you in the next one with our fancy new helmet. See you later. Shut up, Giblet. Bye bye.